improvement has been made with my one kilobit recorder. Not kilobyte, kilobit. It only records for like a split second. But I'm not using this as my clock anymore. I'm using the 555's clock as the master clock and it's an audible range as you'll hear. But if I speak through it, it is digitized and you can hear my voice come through. I'm speaking through the microphone and it is digitized. The, record, the recording time is incredibly small, but you can hear a quick recording I did. I went, I was like, going, and I recorded it and said, I'm recording another thing. Hi, hi, hi. There's the ram. Okay, let's try lowering the frequency some more. Oh, we gotta we gotta change the capacitor. As far as do this goes, the audio doesn't come through good at all. Oh, I have to be very loud and it only gets very small parts of what I say. Very small parts of what I say. But I got it to go like that. And then I recorded it like this. But... If I change the clock frequency, it changes the playback frequency. Oh, wow. Imagine doing Morse code like this. And now I do not know Morse code. I do know SOS, however. Start changing the frequency. Oh, wow. Sounds interesting. Let's try something here. Switch the phone right here.
about this as a sampling. Hello, I can't even. Does not work good enough. Now, let's see. Let's measure the frequency now. We have a recording time that's so short this time that it's absolutely useless, but we can at least hear it for a very short time. It's 70 kilohertz. Let's make a recording. You can hear it for like a split, split, split second. Let's see if we can make. Let's see if we can make the frequency lower. Uh, but the frequency I think is getting higher now, not lower. I need some capacitor in between here. Again. How about a point oh oh six eight instead of point oh oh four six? quite record a word. 
assign the letter A. A. Yo, yo.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video showing this very primitive, very short recording time and very horribly low quality digital audio recorder. I will be continuing the experiments with using RAM that can have more memory to try to get longer recording time instead of this, uh, you know, 1024 bit, which is the 2102. As I found here, there's the pinout for it. It's a very nice RAM chip, although the memory, of course, is not quite enough for what we want to do.